Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm finally back with another video here because I got a kick-ass package in the mail just yesterday and it's been killing me not being able to open it yet. It is from Remzap Studios. This is my kills mask and coveralls. So excited to get a look at this thing. So let's do a quick unboxing video and check this bad boy out. All right, the day has finally come. It is actually here. This is so exciting. Um, I had a deal worked out with Remy here um, that he would sort of work on this, you know, kind of when he had time and uh, when he didn't feel like rushed because I didn't want the experience to be just another, another one after another one. I know it gets tedious for a lot of artists out there and stuff uh, doing the same kind of work all the time, but um, I was uh, talking to him about, you know, taking his time and, um, you know, working on it when you feel inspired to, to work on it, you know, like no pressure, right? I wanted it to be a, a, a good experience. And uh, really, I needed it for the Calgary Horror Con because I'm finally going to meet James Jude Courtney and I'm going to get him to sign my 2018 mask that he did for me, Remy, of course, Remzap Studios, uh, behind me there. Uh, and of course this kills mask, but I wanted to show up in the cosplay as well, you know, and uh, hopefully get a smile out of James anyway. Um, yeah, so really been looking forward to it. So I'm finally going to get a look at this thing now, and I just wanted to share it with you. Uh, can't wait to get a look at this thing. I'm babbling enough. Let's get this thing open and take a look. All right, so maybe I should set it, I'm going to set it down bubble wrap tissue paper it's very nicely packed in here oh wow oh nice got some stickers on top this looks good already and it's in the bag oh my god holy shit look at that oh my god just through the through the bag look at that I don't know if you ever saw those dressing room shots that Chris Nelson had of the three masks one said like Jim you know, and one was Nick and one was uh, the stunt mask or something. Fuck, is that cool? Look at, look at that, just through there. It looks amazing. Holy shit. Oh my God, let's get a look at this. Beautifully signed on the inside, as always. Oh my God, man. Oh my God, man. Look at this. Holy shit, man. Wow. <sighs> Holy shit, you guys. Ah, I'm so, I need a minute. Holy fuck. Holy fuck, man. <sighs> I can't believe this is the same mask that I had sitting up there all that time in some of my old videos. Holy fuck. Look at the work on this. All right, take a look at this. Oh my God, that's beautiful. That is fantastic, look at that hair. Look at this thing. Oh my God. Oh, the detail's amazing. Look at the detail. Getting right in there and all the little cracks. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. The detail. Oh my God, I cannot believe how cool that looks. I'm excited because I know this mask will fit me. It'll fit me better than this one did. And, uh, pretty stoked about that. I have a huge head and I know this one will fit me. This is a little snug, 
the very first copy I had, the blank one that I got from Trick or Treat Studios, I ordered directly from them that I sent to him, did not have a lot of deep uh, detail. Like this has got pretty good detail in it. This is a decent copy, but my God, is that beautiful. Anyway, uh, the original mask that I had got, it didn't, it was pretty smooth. It didn't have a lot of deep grooves. It was really, um, yeah, it was kind of a bummer. I, I wondered a little bit about it because it looked a little different than this one that I picked up right from uh, Spirit Halloween when they opened up. Um, there was about six of them they had because it was right after they put them out and I just went through every one and grabbed the nicest one and brought it home and it had a uh, it had a head tag on it that you'd hang on a on a hanger whereas the one from Trick or Treat Studios had like you know a little tag out of the out of the side there out of the I think it was out of there doesn't matter but anyway it, it was different and it was noticeably different as well because that first one I had that was really smooth was even bigger than this one like when I put it on, I went, oh my God, this is perfect. It's like they made it for my head. It's super comfortable. It wasn't quite as big as the um, the H78 Trick or Treat Studios. Like that, that mask is huge. It's like a 25 inch for sure. Like it's, it's big on me. And like I said, I have a, sorry about that. I have a huge head. So this one though, I remember when I put on it, it fit quite well and it was just about a perfect size for me. It was a little bit snug, but not too snug. Whereas this one is always tight and pretty tough to get in and out of for me. But uh, I was really happy with the size and fuck, this looks amazing. I'm sorry, I just, oh my God. Like, dude, this is gonna turn some heads, man. I can't wait to show this. Like man, that is beautiful. I just hope I just hope he smiles when I'm wearing this thing and he, <laughs> he sees this at least. If I see that that face light up, then we got a winner, man. And I don't see how he's not gonna look at this fucking thing. Fucking outstanding work, man. Unbelievable. Oh, and in the light, like it, I don't have a camera that's gonna do it justice. But my God, the naked eye—you should see the colors in this thing. I mean the black and gray and sort of greens and browns just amazing and the, the blood on the side looks so real looks like smeared blood you know not overly done and enough to look totally legit oh my god it's really hard to see the details i know but oh my goodness it's fucking incredible just incredible I mean, he's got so much of his experience and work in this because he's been doing these for so long. And that's another thing too, I should mention, it, when you guys are dealing with artists and stuff just in general, like I've found, because I'm getting a lot of uh, work done from, from uh, a few artists you might know. When dealing with these artists, I just wanted to say is, uh, it's always a good idea to give them as much time and space as they need to, you know, to, to work on to work on your piece of art, you know, you want it to look nice, don't rush them, you know, and don't ask them stupid things either. Like you'd be surprised some of the things people will say, like, you know, you go to one artist, you go to artist A, because, oh, I like his stuff in general, but you go to artist A and you say, oh, I want you to do it like, like this guy, artist B over here, you know, and they'll be like, what, what are you talking about, right? If you want it done that way, why are you going to them? You know, you, you kind of need to let them do their thing. I mean, tell them what you want, sure, but in their own way of doing it. You don't go, oh, I want you to do it like this other dude does it, you know? Like, that's that's the kind of crazy stuff that goes on. And uh, But uh, I'm really glad, though, that it turned out the way it did because um, he had a lot of time with this. And I know he put, he put a lot of extra beautiful work into this thing for me. And he knew it was a big deal that I was going to go get James to sign this, you know. Um, it turned out to be an absolutely gorgeous mask, and he's got so much experience behind it now. You know, he's done so many, and he's worked with so many different techniques that he's got it down so well. This is just such a killer look. So beautiful. Okay, so here I am rambling on and on about the mask, and we got to check out the coveralls, man. I know, I'm sure a few of you were saying that, but uh, yeah, sorry, I'm just totally blown away by that. But these coveralls, I'm very excited about too. They looked amazing. 
Holy shit, check that out. Look at the, oh my God, the burns. That looks fucking amazing. Here, get this out of the way. All right, I gotta open this up. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, man. Oh my God, look at the burns on this thing. Fuck. Look at this. Here. The box out of the way. It's, oh, it's got the bullet holes in the back too. Check this out. Oh man, look at that. Look at the burns. And then the cut right here. It's not overly huge, that's perfect. So I don't have to get too crazy with it. I can just get a little bloody under there. Got the bullet hole here in the back. Some blood on it as well. Oh man. That looks so incredible. That absolutely, like, look at the burns. Some closer looks at this thing. God damn, man, that was awesome. Oh my God, man. That is just awesome. Just fucking awesome. All right, so that'll pretty much do it for the kills mask and coveralls. They look fucking incredible. I'm just blown away. Uh, the burns on this thing, I, I don't know how he figured it out, but he figured it out, man. It looks exactly like the movie, like totally blown away at how accurate that is. And the mask, I like I'm speechless over this mask. I wish you guys could see the detail in here, like the colors, the brushwork, the fine, oh my God, it's, it's amazing, man. Uh, I'll definitely be doing a cosplay um, for the Calgary Horror Con, so I will show you guys what it looks like ahead of time. Of course, um, I know I'm not doing it now in this video, I don't have time, but I will put together um, sort of a test fitting so you can see what it looks like and let me know what you think uh, before the big event. And uh, in the meantime, if you want to get a hold of Remy, Remzap Studios right here that does all this amazing work, you can find him on Instagram. He is under um, RZS1031. Or if you're in Canada, like me, eh? it's uh, RZS1031. <laughs> anyway, uh, you can find him there on Instagram, and he does all kinds of awesome stuff. He doesn't just do, like, I mean, Myers is certainly his flagship. He is really, really nailed. The modern Michael Myers look, especially you know 2018 uh, and on, and I'm sure ends he's going to be tackling as well, because uh, he's just damn good at it, and he's got pretty high demand. So uh, if you are interested, let him know, uh, get in early, and like I said, be patient. Uh, he does the Francis head, of course, from the Halloween franchise as well, but he does lots of different stuff. He did a Leatherface Pretty Woman mask that looks incredible like it's one of the nicest ones i think he's ever done but he does all sorts of different kinds of stuff so uh you know if, if you're interested definitely uh you know let him know drop him a line and uh go from there but that's all right so that's pretty much going to do it for the video today so I'm definitely gonna put together the cosplay soon. I'll get that out as soon as I can, plus I have a bunch of other ones to, uh, to get on. And of course, the horror convention coming, so there's gonna be lots of content. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I appreciate you checking out the video today, and uh, we will see you again for the next one, everybody. Take care.